Friday Night Lights, the Penn State Baron men's volleyball team returns to action with a pair of home matches on Saturday. Despite the Lions having lost their six-game winning streak, having it snapped, I should say, by Mount Union on Tuesday night, Barron has won 16 of its last 18 matches. Led by two seniors, the Lions have a strong quality mix of juniors and sophomores that are the heart and soul of this program. With just a handful of matches remaining in the regular season, Barron believes they are putting it all together at the right time of the year. We got to keep on sticking to what we're strong to, uh, you know, keep on passing the ball well. If we pass well, we're going to side out at a high percentage. So, um, you know, keep keep that attacking percentage up. Um, you know, limit our own errors. Depending, it doesn't matter what's going on on the other side of the net. We have to focus on what we do best. And uh, if we play our best volleyball, then we feel like we can beat anybody in the conference. So, just focusing on what we're doing on our side and, uh, you know, playing our game. It'll be Barron hosting St. Vincent College on Saturday beginning at noon. Then at 5, the Lions take on Teal at the Junker Center. In their second golf tournament of the spring season, the Mercier Men's program came away with the Crofton Invitational Championship last week. The Lakers were led by sophomore Ryan Ferry as he won the individual title with a 144 total. And the team tied the record with a 294 final round score and finished the tournament with a total of 602 in that win. You know, we've been working hard uh, all winter long, and it just kind of came together for us. We struggled our first tournament down in North Carolina, but, you know, we had some things to build off of. We came into Croft and feeling pretty good about it, and, uh, you know, we just got it done. And the day, guys like Ryan played great. Everyone stepped up, had their moment. Uh, you know, Jacobo had a great last round as well. Um, we just made a bunch of parts. I told the guys going into that week, I said, whoever makes the most parts is going to win this golf tournament because it's a tough golf course. Uh, parts always a good score, so we knew that, you know, that was the game plan we actually pretty well. How great is it for you to come in as a freshman and step right in and contribute the way you are? I mean, it's been nice, yeah. I haven't played like as I would have wanted to, but I have helped the team in some way and hopefully in the coming years I will be able to help out a lot more. Mercier's returns to competition next month when they travel to Victor, New York for the Atlantic East Regional Preview Tournament. At Union City High School this afternoon, the athletic department and softball program held a special signing event for senior Abby Tingley with her teammates and coaches behind her, along with her parents at her side. Tingley signed her letter of intent to play softball at Penn State Barron come this fall. Congratulations to her. We'll see her this spring season as the high school softball season gets underway next week.